In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install PC Simulator on the Steam Deck. Go to power, switch over to desktop mode. Once that loads up, go down to discovery, go over to search, type in Epic. Once you get that done, you will be presented with this screen and it'll be Heroic Game Launcher. Make sure you install that and avoid the update. Once that gets done, make sure you click it. Clearly I didn't. Click it, make sure you go to launch. And once it launches, you'll be presented with this screen. Of course, I've already logged in, so your information, your screen will not look the same. So just type in your Epic Game Store information. Once you get done with that, this is something that is a must. Go over to the game store, the Steam store, go to the library, add a game, add a non-Steam game, go down to Heroic Game Launcher, make sure you add that. And this is something that I like to do because it makes it easier for the next step. Go down until you see the Heroic Game Launcher, make sure you click the little star icon. Once you get that done, just go right back into game mode. Once you get there, just click on Heroic Game Launcher again. Hit play. And once we get there, let's go over to settings. And let's minimize Heroic after game launch. Gives you a little bit more smoother re gameplay, and use dark tray icons are already up from the start. Go back to library. Make sure you click the game sim the gear simulating thing. Make sure you enable FSR hack, FSR shading strength. I put it to five. You can do anything lower than that. It seems to work just fine. And of course, you enable both of these. Gives you a little bit more smoother gameplay, not too terribly much, but it, it still every little bit helps, especially with the Steam Deck. All right, let's go get this game started. Actually, now let's go over controls first. All right, so controls, you hit your Steam Deck icon, go over to Edit Layout, and this is the layout that I use for the actual Steam Deck button mapping. As you can see, pretty simple. Of course, one thing I love to do is push the optional button to escape key because it makes it very easy. The directional pads, I put them like this just because it resembles a console. Triggers, of course, you know, left to, right to. These don't really do anything, unfortunately, so you don't have to really mess with those. Now, the joysticks, of course, I have the right joystick acting as a directional pad, which is your WASD key, so it allows you to actually move around with your joystick. And then the right joystick acts as the mounts region, which does the same thing. And the left joystick, I have set up the same way, but unfortunately it does not work. Trackpad, it's set up like this from the start, so I don't have to mess anything with that. And gyro, just gyro. It's like that from the start also. So alright, since the controls are over with, now let's get into the game. And we'll do a few gaming situations. Note, it will dip on you the first time that you actually do download the or start the game I should say. So just be prepared for that. And you can see right there. But after it actually gets in the game it'll smooth out the 60 FPS again. So this is a few of the settings that I use to actually get the game running pretty good. You have to of course uninstall the the anti thing, I forgot what it's called, and then the graphic quality it doesn't make no difference because I can play on normal, medium, or high and everything else is just fine. Alright, so let's actually get this started. Of course it wants to take a long time since I'm recording it, doesn't take, but it normally doesn't take too terribly long. See there it did again, it did dip again. Now with that out of the way you can see it loads up just fine and it actually starts good.